Hi, this question comes to me from Steve. And Steve asks, he's been on oxy powder and probiotics for years, and his main question is, he's been on pain medication and he's trying to repair himself now. His main question is, do I suggest using multiple strains of probiotics or multiple different types of probiotics? Steve, that's a great question. And you know, there's really a lot of information on the internet about probiotics. Probiotics can be classified into many different categories. Um, you know, you have what's called facultative strains, which, which is a probiotic organism which can live in an aerobic or an anaerobic environment. Aerobic means it can live in a high oxygen environment. Anaerobic means it can live in a non-oxygen environment. You also have uh, transient microorganisms or transient probiotics. And transients are usually from the soil. A lot of them are spore-bearing uh, bacteria, and what happens is they only stay in the system for a limited amount of time, usually around 72 hours. So they get, they come in your system, they multiply, and then they get out of your system. Then you have the aerobic strains of probiotics, and then you have your anaerobic strains of, of probiotics. I personally think that you should be able to get the majority of your probiotics from the foods that you eat. Now, of course, that means you're going to have to eat two raw meals a day and preferably, you know, you get the highest level of good soil-based microorganisms or probiotics if you have your own garden. Even if you grow tomatoes at your house, you're still going to get some good probiotic bacteria. I personally, you know, eat pretty much about 80-90% raw you know, I've never, the only probiotics I supplement with are going to be two spore bearing aerobic, facultative, transient microorganisms, which are going to be the Bacillus laterosporus strain, which is a spore forming bacteria, and the Bacillus uh, coagulin strain, now formerly known as uh, sporogenes. Those are sufficient enough for me. Um, they will control the any type of negative bacterial growth. Um, I have looked at a few other brands and as a matter of fact you asked me a question uh, about the probiotic 12 plus. It is a decent formula uh, and there's nothing wrong with taking a, a, you know different strains of probiotics. I mean you can get about 40 strains of probiotics just from taking in raw kefir. You know, that's another way. Yogurt, raw yogurt, you can get multiple amounts of strains of probiotics. I don't think that it's something that your body needs, like you need to run out to the store and have a million different strains of probiotics that you're taking every single day. No, I think that probiotics should be taken about twice a week, depending on your diet. You know, maybe three times a week. But I always think that you should t not take them every single day. You need a day in between so you're not bombarding your intestinal tract and you're allowing those probiotics to culture, to grow, to divide. You know, even with a lot of nutritional supplements, I still recommend they do one day on, one day off, like one day a nutritional day, one day of, you know, the supplements that you're using for whatever disorder you're trying to treat. But um, there are probiotic strains out there too that you want to look out for as far as um, the way they were processed. You know, I would avoid anything, a lot of the things coming from China and India and just make sure that you do your research on the company and make sure those companies are consistent, their products are not contaminated in any way, they come in vegetarian capsules, there's no genetically modified, you know, organisms in there and just make sure that the purity of the product is there. But all in all, uh, probiotics are one of those things that are extremely beneficial for the body. I don't, you know, maybe once, twice a week uh, will be sufficient. I believe that just two strains are good enough. Um, but again, that's if you eat a raw, a raw diet and if you grow your own vegetables and fruits like I do. So I hope that helps and if you have any further questions, let me know. Thank you.